Uh, simple IRA uh, requirements, you have to have less than 100 employees, at least 5,000 in compensation uh, from the previous year, and then you can't have a simple with other qualified plans. Uh, SEP, you can be self-employed or own a small business uh, with one or more employees. Owner can be one of those employees to set up a SEP, and then you have to receive taxable compensation, obviously, uh, to be able to contribute. 401k, uh, gets a little bit more complicated. You have to be self-employed or small business. To have a solo 401k, you can't have any other employees. It, it can be just the owners. We have a client where there are two owners. Uh, I think I've got them in a case study, actually. But they're not related. They're not married. Just two different owners of an S-corp. They can have a solo 401k because it's just the two owners. There's no other employees. Once you have any other employees, you have to switch over to a group plan. It can no longer be solo. But the solo plans are super efficient. You still have to have a plan document. So there's a little bit more cost uh, and complication in getting that set up, but much less than the group plan. Where you're talking about maybe $250, $500 to set all of it up for a solo plan. You still have to have the plan document document that gets set up to create the plan, but not as much administration as a group plan. And again, you have to have taxable compensation during the year to be able to contribute to a 401k. Group plan, typically you have two employees for a group plan, can include the owner. Any business structure is okay with a group plan. Generally, this is what you're switching to when you have employees. Uh, again, you need that written plan document. There are uh, dates for the plan documents that have to be crafted, put together, shared with employees. So a lot of times uh, we'll be talking maybe to a new client in November and they want to create a group 401k plan. Usually at that point it's too late because they don't have time to get everything created. That takes a couple of weeks to get all the plan documents set up, put together. Employees have to have notice of participation. So usually you cannot get all that done in November, definitely not in December. And so that's something to be uh, mindful of when creating a, a group plan. 